Hey what's going on guys, so yesterday I saw Mulan. Yep, the pointless Disney live action remakes return, because you know Disney. We've got to have money. Anyway, I was actually optimistic about this one because the actual story of Mulan would actually work quite well in live action, unlike their previous attempt. <gasps> How embarrassing. So yeah, yesterday I went ahead and watched it and was it good? Hang in there, Squidward. Okay, so first of all, this movie was meant to come out in cinemas, but obviously due to the coronavirus, this thing got pushed back so much that Disney was like, screw it, just slap it on Disney Plus. Just like Artemis Fowl. You can't win! We'll see about that. <laughs> Except for this one you have to pay an additional fee on top of the subscription. This thing was £20 fam. All right, that's it. This honor, this honor on your whole family. I mean, I get why you had to do that. You know, you have to somehow get the thing that you made the movie for in the first place. Money. But still £20 for one movie is pushing it, Disney. So there are many reasons why this movie missed the mark. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Okay, okay, let's get this show on the road. Firstly, Mulan herself, is a big problem. The reason why we all loved Mulan in the animated film was because we could actually relate to her. She was a normal girl pretending to be a man, but she had no fighting experience at all. Despite that, she went to war anyway to save her father. And you know, we saw her work and ultimately become respected. She had all the disadvantages, but she still worked to become the top. This Mulan is just OP from the start. What? Right from the opening scene, we are seeing that she is already an epic fighter and better than everyone else. Apparently she trained by herself to become that skilled. That in itself is just unbelievable because you can't get that good with no trainer. So immediately we can't relate to her and don't really root for her to do well because she's already better than everyone else. Instead of overcoming the odds and proving yourself to fight alongside the men, here it's don't let men limit you and unleash your true power because you're better than men in every way. Bam. This is the exact same thing we saw in Captain Marvel. Is that like a personal attack or something? Also, can we just stop with the whole wings behind the powerful women shot, please? It was cringe in Game of Thrones and it was cringe here. Just stop. It's, it's unintentionally funny at this point. <laughs> and lastly, it didn't help that Mulan herself was very boring and flat. At least in the animation, she had a personality, but here, nope. Okay, so let's talk about the side characters. For the most part, they've all been changed. There's no Lee Shang in this because apparently having a commanding officer also as a love interest is not a hashtag me too friendly thing. What? What are you talking about? I mean, fam, is it that deep? Their relationship was never a love thing to begin with. It's like, all right, you know what? Let's just move on. Yao, Xing, Po and Ling who are very funny in the animation are replaced by some other forgettable guys. I, I don't even remember their names. The villains. Oh boy. We have two villains this time. There's a witch called Jiang Lang, who is probably the most interesting character in the whole movie. I liked how she was essentially the opposite to Mulan in the sense that she was cast out for being too powerful and ultimately went on a dark path to be accepted by bad people. Then you have Bori Khan, who I guess is the main villain, I guess. He kind of acts as the replacement for Shan Yu from the original. This guy was a really disposable and forgettable villain. Now don't get me wrong, Shan Yu wasn't the most memorable villain either, but at least he was threatening. This guy had no major presence at all. And lastly, the biggest change that annoyed everyone was the fact that there's no Mushu in this. Yo, kill me with this they did this because apparently China didn't like it when they made their dragon a comedic relief in the first one. So uh, yeah, they cut him out. Disney gonna make sure they make China happy and get their large Chinese money in their bank. So instead of Mushu, they replaced him with a phoenix who only really flies around in the direction Mulan needs to go. And of course for the iconic wings behind the powerful woman shot. You are a mighty warrior. Rise up like a phoenix. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the rest of the characters, like Mulan herself, do not compare to the original. Obviously. So yeah, about the other aspects of the film, the music here was great, but there was no songs from the original, which was kind of disappointing. They did play like an orchestrated versions of like some songs, 
but they didn't really do it that much. I would have liked it if they did it a lot more than they did. The action here was okay, you know, it was possible, but you know it's Disney-fied because there's no blood, like, at all. I mean, it doesn't have to be graphic or anything, but you could have at least put some blood makeup on their faces. Bam, they are fighting in a war, and there's no blood. It just looked too clean to me, if you know what I mean. The cinematography was nice, and that's all good, but the set design was a bit of a mix. Like, sometimes it was great and grand, but sometimes it looked like they were clearly on a small set. By the way, Jet Li is in this movie as the Emperor, and he's clearly being dubbed. It was very distracting, and it took me out the movie every time he spoke. We'll destroy this roaring army and the witch. So yeah, what can I say guys? I mean, I did like it more than 2019's Lion King. They at least did some things different, but they, they missed the whole point of Mulan. I like Mulan because she was the underdog who proved herself able, not because she was perfect from the start and then broke free from men holding her back or whatever. A girl. A woman. And she's no scorned dog. Yeah. If you like this movie, then that's great. That's awesome. But for me, I I'm gonna stick to the original. Also, Disney, these live action remakes, they're, just, they're getting out of hand now. I mean, look at all these upcoming remakes they're doing. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? But yeah, that's it from me. This has been my review on Mulan 2020. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. Have a good day and God bless.